Hey, all you cool cats. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Um, actually, no. Uh, hey, guys, this is Brittany uh, from The Nerdy Nurse. And I just couldn't resist. Seemed like a good idea at the time to uh, welcome you as cats and kittens. What with the state of the world today. Uh, but I'm actually here to talk to you about um, Bluetooth stethoscopes. And in particular, why you should get one, why they're cool and talk about my favorite Bluetooth stethoscope. In fact, my, it's my favorite stethoscope altogether, uh, the Echo uh, Digital Stethoscope. Uh, Echo Core Digital uh, Stethoscope, uh, as, long, uh, as well as the digital attachment um, and the ECG, EKG, however you want to pronounce that um, device. So, uh, let's get started. I want to first talk about uh, what is a Bluetooth stethoscope. So essentially you take a regular old stethoscope and you upgrade it. You add some technology to it and you make it uh, digital. And a lot of times that means uh, you'll be able to connect it to your phone uh, via some mobile app and potentially share recordings. That's a pretty innovative thing. You can do a lot of things with recordings like share it with your teammates, um, I know that's really important to new nurses who, want, who don't yet have the confidence to make decisions about sound. And frankly, physicians tend to do better when they can record sounds, listen to them again, or see uh, a visualized waveform, which is called a phonocardiogram. Um, that's where you visualize uh, sort of the heartbeat or something like that. So really cool technology to be able to have that. So why should you have one? Well, I've listed a few reasons. Um, you're able to uh, visualize those waveforms, save, save them for later. My personal favorite is the amplification. Uh, when I was a brand new nurse uh, on the floor, I could not hear squat. And I had a decent stethoscope at the time. It wasn't a cheap one, it was a gift that somebody gave me, but I just could not hear anything. I could not auscultate anything that I felt really confident about to the point where I actually set up an appointment with an audiologist and had a hearing evaluation done, and they pretty much said, um, ma'am, you're probably just distracted and it sounds like you have a case of selective hearing. So I officially was able to tell my mother, um, yes, I have been officially diagnosed with selective hearing. It's not my fault, it's a medical diagnosis, but I digress. Uh, having a digital stethoscope that would have allowed me to amplify it and listen back to Heart sounds, lung sounds, even vowel sounds at the time would have been phenomenal, so totally worth having. So you can get a, a digital stethoscope, a Bluetooth sketch stethoscope in many varieties, and they start off as, I think I've seen one, uh, a little pocket one for as low as 60 bucks, uh, and then they go up to 500, 700, 800, $5,500, depending on what you're doing. But um, I found one uh, that's a lot less expensive, and um, really kind of hits the mark with everything that's included. And so that is the Echo Core Digital Stethoscope. It's this bad boy right here. This part right here is the digital part, the, uh, the Bluetooth part that actually makes it um, do all that fancy stuff. Uh, and this basically is just a regular stethoscope, but very high quality. So let me tell you what I love about this stethoscope. Let's start from the very beginning. We're gonna go to my wall of white boxes over here. You can see the, the boxes that come in are beautiful. I mean, I actually display my iPhone uh, and MacBook boxes right next to it. I think that's a weird thing that the Apple Beats do. But I thought it was funny, but kind of cool how they all kind of go in the same place. So for example, if you look at the Duo box, it's like getting an iPhone. And frankly, getting an iPhone and opening that box is about the closest thing that a girl can have uh, to the feeling of Christmas morning. So the boxes are sexy, and that's just kind of nice. I actually uh, was that sad when I saw Apple going to the black boxes. It just doesn't feel as unique anymore. And so the Echo came in, the Echo came in to save the day. Uh, the other thing I really like, it is a sleek and slim design. Uh, Echo used to have uh, a much bigger sort of attachment dongle, whatever you want to call it, that went here. It was about twice the thickness. It was still much smaller than a lot of the other digital or Bluetooth stethoscopes, but they've really upped the mark and given you a very good, smooth and streamlined uh, design with this one. Just a couple of buttons and a volume right here. So, very cool. Um, I've already mentioned uh, one of my favorite things is the 40 times amplification. And one thing that's significant about that is you can actually 
listen with ear pods or um, AirPods or something like that while you're auscultating. So you can pop this part off. If you're strong enough. Oh, there you go. You can pop this part off and this in itself will stand alone as uh, a stethoscope. And then you can pop in your uh, AirPods, sync it to your phone and connect it. And if you're in something like a COVID-19 situation or you're in a messy unit, you can just wrap that sucker up with plastic to keep it safe. And there you go. There is COVID-19 friendly auscultation. You don't have to touch your ear pods, keep those in, uh, make sure they're all transparency mode, of course. And you can auscultate patients. Pretty significant when you have, you know, sort of a lung condition and you're afraid to use your stethoscope. So that's a big deal. Uh, it also has an amazing app. Uh, so the app, which I'm not going to show, but you can download it uh, and take a look. There's lots of videos as well. Uh, it's got, it's what powers that actual wireless auscultation when you connect it to your Bluetooth on your phone. Um, it allows you to record, share, catalog, heart and lung sounds. Now, that would be really cool if you uh, had practice and you wanted to kind of keep tabs on those things. It's fully HIPAA compliant. You don't have to worry about that. And then again, the visualizing of the waveforms actually is proven uh, to increase diagnosis of things like murmurs. Something else um, the Echo uh, uh, Core Digital Stethoscope does is have artificial intelligence. Now that's significant uh, because it's sort of like Shazam for heart sounds. And years ago, the, the whole reason I discovered um, this company, uh, Echo, Echo Core Digital was because they were talking about developing uh, this technology and working towards a patent. And I emailed them and said, I, ha I have to see this amazing technology. Long story short, it wasn't quite ready at the time, but it is now and it's available on the Echo AI, which stands for Artificial Intelligence. And it will help you detect heart sounds and make um, educated, uh, help you make more informed decisions with that AI that's kind of helping you determine what those heart sounds are. Very cool, innovative. That part of the app does require a subscription, but an amazing technology, especially if you're new um, or if you're a cardiologist or something like that and just want uh, an extra digital expert to help you out. A digital sidekick is my favorite uh, term for technologies that help us uh, do our jobs well. So our overall opinion of the Echo Core Digital Stethoscope is A+. It's also really affordable. You can actually get just this attachment, which can go on any stethoscope, and make it digital for about uh, 200 bucks. It's $199. If you want the full shabam, the full thing, the whole thing, not the shazam, because the shazam is the AI stuff, but if you want the full stethoscope, which I really would recommend, it's 249 so 250 bucks uh, for this awesome stethoscope. And um, it's a high quality stethoscope, just the, you know, the acoustic stethoscope alone is pretty amazing. But if you wanna upgrade and get something like really cool, you're gonna wanna get this, which is the same thing sort of as this, but it's a little more advanced. It has a one lead EKG, a one lead ECG, uh, which also connects to your phone and does all that other cool stuff, but this is pretty amazing because it has that technology. This is a little bit more expensive. I believe it's $349. Um, and, but it's also really cool. It's a single handheld stethoscope. Uh, you don't have to worry about you know, touching your ears, touching your face, anything like that. Pair it with a pair of ear pods and you're good to go. So, who should get one of these amazing digital stethoscopes? I really think it's beneficial for anyone, but I'll tell you the people that it's most beneficial for in my home. Number one is brand new nurses. Nurses who don't yet feel confident in their auscultation and um, diagnostics, not the right word, because nurses don't diagnose, it's uh, not at our uh, practice. Uh, but we do sort of assess and can, can uh, make some assessments uh, around things. So uh, anyone who's honing their assessment skills and wants to get maybe a second opinion or just wants to hear them better uh, because they're distracted in a new nurse and, maybe they've been diagnosed with selective hearing professionally. Uh, the second group of people that I think this really helps for is anyone who is actually hard of hearing and, and has um, any sort of impairment there, uh, this is 100% worth it just for the amplification alone. The 40 times amplification is amazing. So I definitely think that you wanna get that. Uh, the um, third 
group of people I think are people like nurse practitioners or physicians who specialize in cardiology or need to do a lot of cardiology. Being able to digitally archive those patient records is amazing and everything is all HIPAA compliant so that is pretty cool. Uh, the three options I think I've already went through for you. So, so, so say you love this. Oh, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the holy grail of stethoscopes. This is what I think. Um, then you're going to want to know what you can get. So, number one, I've already mentioned, uh, this is the Echo Core Digital Attachment. This is if you already have a stethoscope you love and you just want to upgrade it to Bluetooth, you'll get this thing. Uh, the second one is the one step above, and that's the uh, attachment, um, the Echo 4 Digital Stethoscope is what this is called because it comes with a stethoscope. You, you can actually buy their stethoscope separately, so if you decide you want to get their stethoscope later, you can do that, but honestly, I think it's just best to get that from the beginning. And the third option is the Echo Duo ECG Plus Digital Stethoscope, and this pairs with the app and gives you all the other technology. Plus, it looks like it came from like Star Trek or something. I don't know if, if that looks the same to you, but kind of looks like uh, something uh, much farther ahead of our time, like it belongs in space and an alien delivered it to us. I'm, really, just, I'm, I'm a little bit nerdy, so that's kind of what I think. Uh, so here's something really cool. I have actually partnered with Echo. I've been partnered with them for years, but I have an exclusive discount code to get you $20 off one of these amazing accessories uh, for your nursing career. So. You can get 20 bucks off of what in my opinion is probably the coolest nurse gadget um, and an essential accessory for any healthcare professional. Uh, all you have to do is use code nerdy nurse, N-E-R-D-Y-N-U-R-S-E. I'll make sure that appears here below somewhere so that you can see it. Um, absolutely, absolutely adore uh, the Echo, Echo Core digital stethoscope. Um, one of my favorite technologies that I've ever had. Uh, we actually usually give one away every year in our Nurses Week giveaway. 2020 is when this is recorded and that will be no exception this year. They really love, value, and appreciate nurses and they want to give you some cool stuff this year. So look forward to that. Uh, I hope um, that you'll spend some time and investigating this technology a little bit more. Um, it is definitely worth the price of admission and something that will make you feel a little more confident in your practice and uh, maybe a little cooler, uh, a little bit nerdier since, you know, nerds will inherit the earth and uh, enjoy oscillating a little bit more. So thank you so much for joining me today. This is Brittany from The Nerdy Nurse signing off.